ही मैदान के भीतर अपने बल्लेबाजी से फैंस का मनोरंजन करते हैं ठीक उसी तरह मैदान के बाहर भी प्रशंसकों के लिए उनका हर एक्शन सुर्खियां बटोर लेता है इस तरह एक एक्शन तब दिखा जब विराट कोहली चैंपियन गाने पर ड्रेन ब्रावो के साथ डांस करते नजर आए सोशल मीडिया आरोप विराट के डांस का वीडियो वायरल हो रहा है जिसमे कोहली ब्रावो के अलावा हरभजन सिंह और के राहुल भी थिरकते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं ये एक प्रमोशनल इवेंट का वीडियो है जहाँ ये सभी क्रिकेटर्स पहुँचे हुए थे आपको बता दें कि साल 2016 में वेस्ट इंडीज के ऑलराउंडर ब्रावो ने चैंपियन नाम से एक एल्बम रिलीज की थी और वो काफी पॉपुलर भी हुआ था आईपीएल में चेन्नई सुपर किंग तरफ से खेल रहे ब्रावो ने कहा कि विराट के साथ मेरे संबंध अच्छे हैं। विराट असल में मेरे छोटे भाई डेरिन के साथ अंडर नाइनटीन क्रिकेट खेला है और मैं हमेशा अपने भाई ऐसी कहता था की उसे विराट का अनुसरण करना चाहिए मैं ऐसा इसलिए नहीं कह रहा हूँ की मैं यहाँ हूँ ब्रावो ने कहा कि मैंने असल में विराट से आग्रह किया था कि वह मेरे भाई से निजी तौर पर बल्लेबाजी और क्रिकेट को लेकर बात करे जब मैं विराट को देखता हूं तो मुझे क्रिकेट का क्रिस्टियानो रोनाल्डो दिखता है उन्होंने कहा कि विराट चाहे टीम इंडिया के लिए खेल रहे हो या फिर आर के लिए उन्हें देखना हमेशा ऐसी शानदार होता है वेस्ट इंडीज के इस हर फरमोला खिलाड़ी ने कहा की विराट प्रतिभाशाली खिलाड़ी है और जिस लगन और मेहनत ऐसी खेलते है उसको सलाम करता हूँ उन्होंने कहा कि दुनिया में विराट को जो भी मुकाम मिला है उसके असल हकदार हैं। Detailing that has gone into Absolutely. making these caps, yeah. and that's why they are so special to me. And only then I can present it to pe people because I connect to them first. Right. So that was the whole idea behind it, and there was no doubt in in collaborating with New Era because they are the number one brand in the world. Uh, they have done so many signature collections before, so yep. you as an athlete get confidence mm. that the collaboration is going to be taken care of. Yes, it's not a random collaboration. It's not just for you know presenting it out there, but you as an athlete are respected. Mm -hmm. You are involved at all stages, and that's what they are going to present it to the consumers as well. Absolutely, John. Coming from his question, you know. Uh, New Era has played a very strong role in the street culture, as we spoke, and in sports in USA. How do you think has the company evolved to become a cultural influence for Americans? Well, it's a really interesting story that we have because you mentioned a lot about we it. We would love to hear that. You, you mentioned a lot about it at the beginning when you, in the very good introduction that you made. Hmm. Um, we started nearly 100 years ago, and in 1934, the company decided to get into sport and invented the baseball cap. Now we supply baseball caps onto every on-field team. So there's no baseball caps that are worn in the field of play in the US that aren't New Era caps. But the really big moment for us came in 1993, when Spike Lee, the famous US um, film director, came to us and he said, I'm a fan of the New York Yankees, but I want a red cap, because mm. that's going to match my Jordans. Now, if you follow the Yankees, the Yankees wear navy blue. They don't wear red. Right. So why would we do a red cap? But it's a long story, but eventually, the owner of the company said, hell, let's do a red cap. Okay. He went to the game the next day. He was all over the media. And from then on, the whole uh, fashion, lifestyle, headwear uh, boom started. Kids wanted to wear headwear as an expression of who they were. Right. To match up with their sneakers, to be different, to show that they were cool and on trend. And uh, that's 25 years ago, and that's still a key part of our brand. We're a sports brand. We're also a culture brand. And when we bring them together like a collaboration with Vera, that's when we're really strong. Sounds wonderful. So a new era has also collaborated with various brands and companies for caps like MLB and Marvel Studios in the past, just naming a few of them. Do you plan to collaborate with any more Indian brands in the future? Well, we started off with what we believe is to be the one that's totally right for us. But ongoing, when we develop our business, yes, if the brand is aspirational for our consumers and it's right and it fits in with our portfolio, then we would look at it. But obviously today, we really want to concentrate on the Virat thing and make it work for us. Okay. Just one question. Do you think that IPL in India is comparable to MLB in USA in terms of the impact that it has on the culture and emotions that it brings out on people? Wow. That, that's your <laughs> ne uh, is that an NBA question, I think? I might have to... <laughs> well, uh, the audience okay. wants to know. All right. What made you write and record songs? How did that happen? Um, I think coming from the Caribbean, you know, music is a big part of our culture in the Caribbean. And I think everywhere in the world, music and sport go hand in hand. I'm a type of person love to make people happy. Uh, the way how I play on a cricket field, you know, I dance on a cricket field. So Did he make you guys happy? <laughs> Come on, I, let's clap for him. Uh, Woo! Is that the way of my life? I'm a very happy, positive person, so I try to do music that can inspire people and make them enjoy, enjoy themselves. 
you are a very happy person, but you're also a very busy person. How do you manage to take out time from your busy schedule for this? Well, busy people make time for things they really want to do and things that they want to achieve. That's so true. I'm very passionate about music. I must say it's a hobby that I'm turning into more a professional career now. Um, cricket will always be my number one priority, but there will be times where I have a down time. So I, I do music, I record music, three to four songs I'll record and put it down and just have it there and release them at a particular time. Well, you do an amazing job at that. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer. Your favorite singer. My favorite singer is a guy by the name of Beanie Man. He's a dancehall <laughs> artist. <laughs> he's a dancehall artist in Jamaica. Um, <laughs> so he's the one is my favorite. Okay, awesome. What's the equation like with Virat? It's good. It's good. Um, Virat actually play on the 19 with my younger brother, Darren Bravo. And I always tell my brother, Virat is a person he should look up to. And um, I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm here. I actually asked Vera to talk to my brother personally about batting, about cricket. Um, when I see Vera, I see the Cristiano Ronaldo of cricket. Whoa. Like, that, wow. that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the level he's at. And, um, well said. You know, we agree to, with you. For me as a cricket player, to play against him, you know, and to watch him play when you represent India or even RCB. It's just to admire the talent that he has, the, the passion he has for the game and for the sport yes. and the way he plays. So hats off to him and he deserves all the achievement, all the accolades that he's getting. Yeah. Well said. All right, my last question to you is what's next after Rundi World? After Rundi World, I have a song called Asia. Ooh. So I had Champion, I have Run the World, and Asia, I'm planning to release for the Asia Cup. And that's also is going to be a mega hit. So Asia is like, call up my friend Sangakara, Sangakara, Sangakara. So me tell him to call up Mihela, Mihela, Mihela. Now we go across to India, India, <laughs> India. And I call up my friend named Kohli. Coley, Coley, so me tell him to WhatsApp Dhoni, <laughs> Dhoni. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, thank Bravo. You, thank thank you. you for joining us. Your, that performance and thank this one both were much. amazing. Thank you. Well.